Hi, I'm uh, Hassan Shanasa. I'm uh, one of the gynecologists in Ottawa. And we are at the Shirley E. Greenberg uh, Women's Health Center on the seventh floor of the Riverside Hospital. And this is the minimally invasive surgical suite. Tell me what you do in this room because this is basically an office that has all this equipment in it. Right. It's a modified office. It's a clinic uh, with a minor surgical procedure capacity. And uh, what we can do here is uh, treat a lot of the problems that classically uh, we need to take women to the operating room and put them to sleep for. Uh, so, for example, women with abnormal bleeding uh, that need a hysteroscopy. Hysteroscopy is looking inside their uterus. Uh, we can uh, do here under local sedation uh, or uh, just a small uh, freezing on the cervix. And uh, we can also do treatments to, uh, for women who have heavy bleeding. And, uh, and what are some of those treatments that you can do right here? Uh, well, there's an uh, instrument you can see here, it's called NovaSure. Uh, that is an endometrial ablation, uh, global endometrial ablation uh, technique. And uh, it's fairly recent technology. Classically what we do is, um, when we do endometrial ablation, we take people to the operating room and uh, uh, look inside their uterus with a microscope and uh, with a hysteroscope and um, shave off or burn off the lining of the uterus. Uh, that works very well. It's a bit of a morbid procedure. Women do need to go to sleep for or have a spinal. Um, and uh, if you can avoid that and do it as an outpatient setting, that'd be great. So here we have women coming in, um, say at one o'clock, the nurse meets with them and then uh, uh, I've already reviewed the pros and cons of the procedure and they come in, they get some uh, intravenous sedation, I give them a little bit of freezing on the cervix, and then put an in uh, instrument, a hysteroscope, have a look inside the uterus. I can actually show them on the TV uh, what, uh, what I see, and uh, make sure there's no abnormalities in it, do a biopsy, and then uh, move on to put the, putting the instrument inside, and um, turn it on. Basically what that does is checks for the integrity of the uterus, make sure that we're in the right cavity, and then um, uses a radio frequency, which is a bipolar energy, to basically, if you want to call it, burn the lining. So it basically uh, chars the lining in a sense, uh, so that uh, we get rid of the endometrium, which is the lining that keeps growing back and uh, causing periods. So the periods will be either much, much shorter or um, in duration, or sometimes they don't even come back so that you don't have any periods. And how long does it take? Uh, the procedure itself, when it's on, and it can cause some cramps, is maximum of 90 seconds. Um, you know, you, women would be sitting here for about uh, five to 10 minutes uh, where I'm getting things ready, having a look uh, with, the, with the hysteroscope and then performing the procedure. The it benefit of that is that uh, it's so safe and such a simple procedure that we can do it as a first-line therapy for women who have finished their childbearing, who have heavy periods, who don't have other abnormalities in their uterus, uh, instead of putting them on the pill. So I would rather potentially use an instrument like this um, on a woman instead of putting, the, uh, putting her on the pill for um, like 10 years of her life from age 45 till 52, 53. Or, or someone in the late 30s to, to early 50s where menopause usually sets in. Would it be overstating it to say that this 90 second to 5 minute procedure could actually prevent a hysterectomy? Oh no, the, the whole idea is that you do uh, prevent hysterectomies for this, so this would be an alternative to a hysterectomy. Can you explain to me again, if you didn't already, the difference between doing an ablation here in the office versus having to do one in the operating room? Right. Uh, some people actually do this in the operating room, but you don't need to. Most people can tolerate it in the office. The operating room setting is usually uh, what we call a first generation ablation or a resectoscope or a, a roller ball ablation. And what that is, is a 9 millimeter instrument that you put inside the cervix into the uterus. And then uh, it's almost like mowing the lawn. You have to go with a uh, either resectoscope or the rollerball and you go over the tissue and uh, you uh, burn the tissue and then go to the next step and do it again and you have to overlap the tissues a little bit so that you make sure you get everything. Do the anterior surface, the sides, posterior surface, around, all the way down to the cervix. 
and treat the entire endometrium, the whole uterus. It takes uh, anywhere from seven, eight minutes to half an hour, depends who is doing it, how big the uterus is. And in fact, you do need to have that available because often women with fibroids that are too big or other uterine abnormalities, septated uterus or uh, big polyps that you need to manage, um, you may not be able to do uh, the techniques that you can do in the office. The next generation of ablation techniques are called global ablations or second generation ablations and those are uh, the balloons uh, uh, that you can fill up with fluid um, and um, heat up, that's how it burns the lining of the uterus, or the Novasure which uses the radio frequency um, um, and uh, treats the endometrium that way.